around with the Philippines today. What do you think, Nate? Quick update before we start today's video. We have stopped traveling indefinitely and we are currently on day 15 of self-isolation in this hotel room. Kara's still wearing the same robe that she was in the last video and at this rate, my afro is going to make a comeback. However, before this was our life and before the coronavirus was declared a global pandemic, we filmed a series in the Philippines that we're really excited to share with you. We know this is a difficult situation for everyone and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you're going through, we hope that this series can be a virtual escape during this tough time. traveling full-time for the last four years. Yesterday, we landed in the Philippines where the Department of Tourism has invited us to explore the provinces of Samar and Leyte. So over the next couple of days, we'll be experiencing the best these provinces have to offer. Oh! <laughs> From a massive underground cave to a jaw-droppingly beautiful island. Yesterday, we jumped on a flight from Manila to the city of Tacloban, which we'll be using as our home base for the next few days. Right there. Good morning. This morning, we are driving an hour and a half into the Samar province to visit the Sohotin Cave. We're about 30 minutes into our journey, and we're currently driving on the longest bridge in the Philippines. It's called the San Juanico Bridge, and it's 1.3 miles long. This river is gorgeous, and the weather is perfect! Yay! We came down in Etari for the Hitas. We have more than 30 caves. I feel like we've been dropped off in the middle of a Jurassic Park movie. <laughs> Thank you. I tried to thank him in the local language and I think he laughed at me. <laughs> Safety first. Ready to go on the cage. If you're like me, when you think of the Philippines, you might think of islands and beaches, but Samar, the province that we're in now, is actually home to Asia's second largest cave system. And Sahotan Cave, the one that we're about to enter, is supposed to be one of the most spectacular. Good morning and uh, welcome to Panhulugan Cave. We must do the light off. What's that? Three, two, one. It's very peaceful. Light on. <laughs> He's tickling me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So being inside this cave is kind of like when you were a kid and you'd lay in the grass and you'd look up at the clouds and you would make up the shapes that you were seeing. It's, it's an exercise in your imagination. We're doing the same things here with all the different formations in the cave. I need you standing. So like you've got the, yeah. the legs, the mm. feet. So this stalactite and this stalagmite are so close to touching and becoming a column, but it takes about 100 years per cubic inch. So in 300 years, these will finally meet. I'm staying okay, far away so I don't knock over 500 years of work. Heading to the main chamber. Three, two, one. It's a lot of this. <laughs> it was a uh, drastic change in the weather while we were in the cave. Is it rainy season? No. Oh, make the most of it though. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Yeah, welcome. 
Thank you. How do you say thank you in Malay? Um, a walai. Actually, it's a warai. Warai. <laughs> so, uh, warai. Like, how about you start by saying the language? <laughs> we say it uh, salamat. Salama. Well, most Filipinos speak English, but there are a lot of different dialects based on where you're from. So I'm working on my warai. Warai, yes. And how do you greet someone? Maopay nga pag abot. One more time. Maopay nga pag abot. Maopay pag ya. Maopay. That's a lot of syllables. Yes. That's exactly the welcome. Hello. Hello and welcome. Okay, one more time. Maopay nga pag abot. Is there like a shortened version? Like hey, maopay nga pag abot. Yes. I'm just gonna end there. <laughs> I'll be practicing up here. Okay, what is delicious? Marasa. Marasa. Yes. I like that one. How do you say, let's go? Tarana. Tarana. We're off. Salamat. Salamat. <laughs> For some reason, they laugh every time I try to speak in Warai. Tarana kayaking. Pretty much fluent. Thank you. Salamat. A little different than the last time we went kayaking. Ooh, ran into an iceberg. <laughs> this river that we're paddling down, or should I say the Kara is paddling down, could not be more beautiful. On every side, you're just surrounded by these giant limestone cliffs with vines dripping down off them. And the only thing that you can hear if I'm not talking is the birds, the bugs, and the paddle going through the water. Brain's back. The weather has been changing so quickly today. It's cloudy when we woke up, and then it got really sunny, and then it started raining, and then it got sunny again, and now it's raining again. I kind of like it. And the stream got too shallow, so we couldn't paddle the kayaks anymore, so we're having to walk. Feels like a real adventure now. I think the coolest part about this place is ever since we left our hotel in Tacloban, we haven't seen a single other tourist. We had the caves, this river, and that swimming hole all to ourselves. The weather helps. <laughs> the weather helps. <laughs> wow. Really coming down in the jungle. Woo! This just happened. <laughs> for a well-deserved lunch. We're having a typical warai meal, but I don't know what any of it is. Oh, so this is the chicken with coconut milk. We call it in our term, hinatukan nga manok. Hinatukan nga manok. Hinatukan nga manok. That's what I said. It's, <laughs> it, that's it. <laughs> when it comes to warai warai, most of our dish is with coconut milk. I love coconut milk. So this one has coconut milk too? Yeah. We call it in our term again, kinilaw nga 
tarong. Camila na tarong. The eggplant is cooked with vinegar, so it's kind of like an eggplant ceviche. And what kind of meat is this? Grilled pork. Shrimp. Shrimp, of course. To make it complete, it's always rice. Always <laughs> rice. <laughs> Lots of rice. Looks amazing. And you eat with your hands. Yeah. Is to there peel a strategy? The, just a little. Uh, get the rice and I press it down. Yes. And. Oop. You already can, made a mess. Mm. I'm gonna go for the eggplant ceviche with some rice. Mm. That is fantastic. Like the coconut milk is like super tangy. It's with the vinegar. I never would have thought that those would go together. Let me try it with the chicken. It's like a pina colada in food form. <laughs> I love it all. And again, other one. Yeah. <laughs> You make it look so easy. Okay, I'll pull it through. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can do that. Bye. Heading back to Tacloban. We know a lot of people are stuck at home right now. And while now is not the time to be traveling, it is a great time to start planning your next adventure. And if you don't know where that is yet, we think you should strongly consider the Philippines. We're gonna be showing you more awesome places coming up in this series that you can use for your planning. But we also recommend following the Philippines on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for more ideas on incredible places to visit in this country. Didn't build a very good base tan in Antarctica. <laughs> so this is a stalagmite. This is a stalagmite. I know what they are. Huh? I was listening. All right. Do you think we're still getting a tan? I really think I'm getting a tan today. I'm glad I put on all that sunscreen. <laughs>